And welcome back everyone, I'm Serge. And I'm Cern. And now we're gonna show you how to do cardiac point of care ultrasound. Dr. Boysen, arguably our favorite, yeah, second favorite for me because of the kidneys, but favorite place to scan. I really like the lungs, but the heart's also fascinating to look at, Dr. Schlup, and uh, Penny's gonna volunteer here for us. We tend to scan our patients in a standing position or the position the most comfortable. So we're gonna go ahead and do this like we would in real life. We're gonna see how we can scan Penny. Oh, Penny's interested in the gel. We're gonna see how we can scan Penny in a standing position with the limb extended a little bit forward here. This right limb should open up a nice cardiac window for us to be able to take a look at the heart. So right now we're gonna start with our probe in short axis. Serge has the, uh, he's down near the apex of the heart where the sternum is. And we have a couple of options here. You can either try to go dorsal within this rib space or even try to jump a rib space cranial and see where that takes us. There we go, we've jumped a rib space cranial and you can see that we're now on that mitral valve. So we're just at that level of the fish mouth, Dr. Schlub. That's correct. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why? Because it looks like a fish mouth, Dr. Boyce. Absolutely, so that is our mitral valve. And we know now once we see that mitral valve, if we have that and we fan a little bit towards dorsal, that drops us right there onto that left atriotic ratio. Now. On that left atriotic ratio that we see here, we are not cardiologists, we're not radiologists, we're not looking for exact measurements, we're looking for a subjective estimation. Is that left atrium enlarged, yes or no? Can we get two times the width of the area on the left atrium? And in this case, we can't. Normally it's about 1.5 to 1.6 to one left atrial slightly bigger than the aorta, depending on the species we're scanning. So this looks perfectly normal. We've got a nice left atrial aortic ratio. And we can say then very quickly that we don't have congestive heart failure because our left atrium is not enlarged. Correct. And same thing in our cats, we can also do this and see how many of those aortic circumferences we can fit within the left atrium. Normally it's about two and a half. When we get left atrial enlargement, secondary congestive heart failure, that left atrium gets very enlarged. We can usually fit three and a half to four aorta circumferences in the left atrium or we can get more than double the width of the aorta in that left atrium. And that was a nice short axis view, Dr. Uh, Shalhoub. Let's have a look at the long axis four chamber. Now for the four chamber, we wanna go back to that mushroom and you wanna hit that mushroom relatively well. You don't wanna to be too far. That might actually be just perfect right there. And I'm gonna rotate the probe, Dr. Boysen, and we'll see what we got. So we're gonna rotate the probe 90 degrees and now we're in long axis and we can see the four chambers. We get the left ventricle, the left atrium, the right ventricle and the right atrium. And we can rotate that a little just to expand that uh, left ventricle a little bit. There we go. And there we have the four chambers view. You can see the left ventricle there. We can see the uh, right ventricle a little bit in the near field, but we're looking for obvious changes with right-sided heart failure. So we might see pulmonary hypertension, for example, that right ventricle is larger than the left ventricle, and that right ventricular free wall is larger than that left ventricular free wall. Uh, and the intraventricular septum will sometimes deviate a little towards the left side with right heart pulmonary hypertension or right heart changes. That's our four chamber long axis view of the heart. And one last thing, team, when you're looking at that heart, remember to recognize those chambers. We have left ventricle there, and right on top we have the right ventricle, and around it is gonna be that pericardial sac. So as long as you know your heart chambers, you're not gonna mistake in anything for pericardial effusion. Exactly, and you'll see that we don't have the perfect window. We got a little bit of lung coming in. We got some rib shadow there, but again, we're not cardiologists. We're looking to answer yes, no binary questions. Is that left atrium enlarged? Yes, no. Is that right ventricle enlarged? Yes, no. Exactly, and that is our cardiac point of care ultrasound.